Hey guys, it's me again, and I'm just doing my makeup. I had to do a voiceover because my sisters were in the room, and I was, I couldn't concentrate. I couldn't talk to them, talk to you guys at the same time. It seemed kind of like... And then at times I'm like, screw it. They look, one looks like higher than the other. Do you guys have this issue or is it just me? Anyways, I'm going to post a video of me riding a bull when I'm done with my makeup. Well, like when this video is over. Right now I'm just adding a moisturizer. Um, I realized that I need to be drinking a lot more water so my face can look just more fresh and clean and very smooth but my water intake has been a little off the charts this week and I should be drinking more water but excuse me I haven't right now I'm applying NYX primer this NYX primer is so cheap that's why I apply it everywhere it's a concealer my bad it's a concealer and I just apply it everywhere because it just it's really good and it's really cheap so if like if I ran out I could always go to the store and buy some more and I'm just applying everywhere all over my face nose oh I took a shower so like when I I rub around my eyes like I wash around my eyes and one of my uh, eyelashes is coming off and the other one stayed on right now I'm applying this amazing lip gloss I don't know how to pronounce it. It's like Bonx Bonx. It's I bought it at Alta. It's a lip not lip filler, but like it's a a like a lip booster. Like it makes your lips bigger and I just like how it looks on my lips. I really want to get lip fillers. My lips are already big, but I just like really big juicy lips. And this lip gloss is amazing. Honestly, like I have like 10 million lip glosses, but there's just that one I always keep buying and I always keep using. I just don't know why I don't throw away the rest. Like, it just doesn't make sense that I have 20 million lip glosses, but I just used one. You guys know what I mean? And right now, I'm just making sure everything's all smooth. I was trying to do it with the camera, but kind of hard doing your makeup on the camera with the lighting and all that stuff so applying more concealer everywhere and I have scars on my face I don't know if you guys can really tell but I have some scars and some um like well yeah scars and like different pigmentation so concealer really helps my next favorite product is NARS I rave about NARS every day not every day but like I just really like NARS in general like I like everything all their products it's amazing I really really like NARS they're just so great I've tried their blush, their concealer, their um, foundation, and I just feel like they just really stepped it up, and they have really good products, and yeah, right now, I'm applying NARS primer for my eyes, I don't usually do this every day when I apply primer, because, I don't know, sometimes on the go, but right now I'm applying it, because my uh, eye makeup stays on longer, 
and it smooths it out. You know that when you apply eyeshadow, excuse me, I'm so, I'm so sleepy, excuse me, I'm so sleepy. I haven't had coffee this morning, and Ava wakes up, like, really early. Okay, so, the primer for my eyeshadows, it just keeps my eyeshadows really smooth, and, like, you know when you put eyeshadows on, and then, like, it creases? Well, it doesn't crease when you put primer on. So, yeah, right now, my sisters are telling me, like, right now, I'm applying, um, NARS foundation, and it goes on so smoothly, and I just love it. I have a sponge that I apply it with, but I was cleaning it. You know when you clean your brushes and your sponges, and they kind of feel damp afterwards? Well, I let them air dry, so that's why I wasn't using the sponge. I was just using the brush. Yes. I really need some coffee, but I'm going to wait until... Excuse me, I'm gonna wait until I do to drink it. Right now, I'm applying this, uh, it's a bronzer, creamer, by MAC. I hate it. I absolutely hate it. I'm just gonna be honest, I hate it. I'm only using it because I've had it for, like, almost two years, and I don't really use it, so I'm like, I might as well just use it. But I just don't like it, how it applies on my skin, like looks very patchy maybe it's the color I don't know what do you guys think is it the color or is it just me I don't like it but I, I I guess I should do you guys have makeup that you don't use but you have it for a long time just because it's like super pricey that's me and I try oh right now I'm applying blush everywhere and this blush is by LA and it's super cheap, but it's good. Like, I like it. It's a very pinky tone blush. But, like I was saying, do you guys have makeup that you don't use, but you have for a very long time just because it's, like, hella expensive? I tried to give away my makeup that I don't use, like, stuff that I don't put on my face directly, like foundations or, like, um, you know, anything that you don't directly apply away. Hello, Ava. Um, so yeah, I try to give it away, and then like the stuff I do apply on my face directly, I keep it or throw it away because it's not really good to like, you know, give, give the stuff away that you directly apply, like hygiene. All right, now I'm applying my favorite bronzer by NARS. It's so beautiful, and it just it just applies a lot better on my face. Yes, I love it. And like, if I don't get that really good dark pigmentation, I just reapply it with a different brush. Brushes make so much of a difference because if I apply it with a not such a thick, like a light fluffy brush, it doesn't grab so much of the product. But like, if I grab like one of these thicker brushes, it grabs a lot more product and it looks better on my skin. See, I'm telling you guys, my eyebrows are under either. I don't know if Botox or facelift will fix that. Um, or maybe I should start using a roller. I was doing roll like a roller on your face. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? A roller on your face. I was doing that. And uh, it it made like a lot of a difference, but I just need to be consistent. Keep doing it again. Right now, I'm applying. Smashbox, or maybe it's NARS. Just kidding, it's NARS eyeshadow. I'm applying NARS eyeshadow. I'm telling you, when I love, when I tell you guys that I love NARS, I really do. I went like all out. I bought like their primer, I bought like their eyeshadow, their foundation, their concealer, their blush. I just really love this product. Their products, their line in general. So right now I'm applying just more eyeshadow. And my sisters are like, you know your um, your eyelashes are coming off. And I'm like, yeah, I think I know that. But I'm like, screw it. I'll just... And right now I'm applying more North eyeshadow. And then underneath my eyes so they'll pop. Obviously, 
I'm not trying to be a makeup artist. I just want you guys to talk, like, I just want to talk to you guys and show you guys, like, how I do my makeup. I don't know. And then, like, yeah. Sometimes I get, like, tricks and, like, ways to do my makeup from watching other videos. And they don't have to be makeup artists. They could just be regular people doing their makeup. And I'm okay with that. Oh, my God. I'm so sorry I'm yawning, guys. Like, I should probably have had a coffee before I decided to do this voiceover. And kid you not, I did this voiceover, like, a million times. But then I kept deleting it because I'm like, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And now I'm like, screw it. I can't be in a perfectionist and keep deleting the video and the voiceover a million times. So right now I'm taking off my eyelashes because I realized, like, yeah, I probably should glue, glue both of these on. Okay. I hope you guys had a really good weekend and stuff. Or week or whatever. So right now I'm reapplying more eyeshadow because I realized I want to take them off. I don't have. I'm missing, like, some eyeshadow. So behind this um, video that I'm going to post at the end family member rented a bowl and took it to a family party it was like a birthday so everybody got to ride the bowl if he wanted to and it was lots of fun i rode bull, a mechanical bowl before oh my god it was like years back in college i rode it and it was lots of fun super fun and now like you know i'm not in college and i'm not all about like clubbing and bar hopping and drinking as much as I used to so like whenever I have a chance to like do the things I used to I try to so me riding a bull it just made me feel like super cool super young again and obviously like I'm not telling you how to ride it I'm just telling you like just make sure when you do ride a mechanical bull just make sure you grab as tight as you can and just hold on like try to stay Obviously, the purpose of it is to, like, stay on the bull, and it's very fun. Like, if you have the chance, I highly recommend it. Well, I hope you guys like this video, and let me know if you guys have any comments or questions. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next YouTube video. Thank you.